In this tutorial, we will do multi-object tracking using YOLO v12 and BoxMo. The BoxMo is a library which provides a standardized collection of pluggable, state-of-the-art trackers. As cameras, we will use RealSense and ZED. Original YOLO works only with usual web cameras. So, we will modify the YOLO code so that we will be able to use RealSense and ZED cameras as well. We also will modify the YOLO boxes class to make it store distances for each bounding box. This modification should be valuable for various robotics applications. Also, viewers will be able to do their own modifications following instructions of this tutorial. In BoxMo, there are six available multi-object tracking algorithms. In this tutorial we use the deep OC sort algorithm. Let's take a look at the theory of this method. The deep OC sort has evolved from Kalman filter based tracking algorithm OC sort, which is an extension of sort. There are three important modules that construct deep OC sort pipeline. The first is camera motion compensation. It is used to more accurately localize objects from frame to frame in moving scenes. It is applied to OC sorts observation centric momentum, observation centric recovery, observation centric online smoothing components. For a more detailed explanation, please see the papers in the zip file for this tutorial. The second module is dynamic appearance. Deep visual embedding used to describe a tracklet is given by an exponential moving average. Weighting factor alpha is used to adjust the ratio of the visual embedding from historical and current time steps. In this method, alpha of the emma is modified on a per frame basis, depending on detector confidence. This allows to selectively incorporate appearance information into a track's model only if confidence is high. The third module is adaptive weighting. When deciding whether a new detection matches an existing track, deep OC sort uses both motion, that is common predicted position and appearance, which is features like OS net embeddings. Adaptive weighting dynamically adjusts how much appearance features matter, based on how confident or clear visual match is. Overall, we can say that deep OC sort provides high tracker identity stability in crowded scenes but at the same time introduces neural network overhead for appearance feature extraction. Now we are going to create a virtual environment and install the packages required to use RealSense and ZED camera. We will begin by installing LibRealSense. Move to this page. Instructions for installation are written under the Installing the Packages section. We just have to follow them. First, register the server's public key. Make sure apt HTTPS support is installed. Add the server to the list of repositories. Install the LibRealSense 2D KMS package. KMS stands for Dynamic Kernel Module Support. This package includes custom kernel patches to handle advanced video formats and resolutions and depth functionality. Install the LibRealSense 2Utils package. This package provides utility tools and example applications for working with Intel RealSense cameras. Next, install the LibRealSense 2 dev package. This package provides development headers and CMake configuration files needed to build our own applications. Finally, install the LibRealSense 2 debug package. Since we will use RealSense camera with Python, we have to install the LibRealSense Python wrapper. Create a virtual environment by the name YOLO v12 RSZED. -E 
Install the Pi Real Sense 2 package. Also, install the OpenCV Python package. Download the box MoYolo v12 zip file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. Open the RealSense test Python script. This is a basic code to use RealSense camera. Here, image size, format and frame rate are defined. Pipeline start means that we start pipeline streaming with the configuration we set in the above line. The alignment utility performs per pixel geometric transformation based on the depth data. In this line, program waits until a new set of frames becomes available. Here, we get aligned RGB and depth frames. Now, run the virtual environment we have created, and execute this code. Our real sense camera works normally. Now, we are going to install ZED SDK. Go to Stereo Labs page. Click on SDK download green button. Select the SDK version suitable for your operation system. Fill in the query and click the get your file button. Then Click on Download Now. The download will take about 7 minutes. For installation of ZED SDK, we need the ZSDD package. ZSDD stands for Z Standard. It is a relatively new compression tool that was created by engineers at Facebook. Run the virtual environment. We are doing installation in virtual environment because we want Python API to be installed here. Move to the downloads directory. Add executable permissions to the file we have downloaded. And execute it. Push Q key to close the license file. Basically, it is fine to answer yes to all questions but some operations may take a while to complete. After ZED SDK installation is done, Run the virtual environment and move to the box MoYolo v12 directory. We will use the ZED test Python script for installation test. The program is straightforward. Before the while loop, we set configuration and create image and depth containers. In the while loop, if we successfully grab a frame, we display RGB and depth images. Sometimes, there are very large numbers included in the depth image. This can result in the whole image becoming monotone in color. To avoid this, we clip depth values to maximum and minimum values. Now execute this code. We have successfully run ZED camera. Now let's see what modifications we have made to the YOLO code to make it work with depth cameras. I will not explain every small detail of the code. We will rather try to grasp the whole picture. There are two topics. The first is to modify YOLO to work with RealSense and ZED camera. The second is to modify the boxes class to store depth values. Let's see the first topic. Tracking program begins by executing the tracker python script. In this script, we run YOLO and use its results for tracking. To enable usage of multiple types of cameras, we have defined a new argument, camera type. 
This argument accepts real sense, ZED or webcam as an input. We also have to add this argument definition to the default yum file which is located in the CFG directory. After the program begins to run, all these arguments are passed all way through to the stream inference function which is located inside the predictor python script. This is a function in which the main inference loop is running. Then, the camera type variable is passed through the setup source function to the load inference source function. Since we use a camera, here, an instance of the load streams class is generated. The load streams class is probably the most heavily modified part of our code. In the init function, we do initializations of cameras. Note that initialization code is the same with the test code we used previously. We should pay attention to the fact that, because in one stream there will be RGB images and depth images, some lists should be defined with multiple lists in it. Under the enumerate statement, we obtain frames from camera. Again, for two image lists, there is only one thread because both images are coming from one stream. In this thread, the update function is started. This function reads stream frames and updates image buffer. Another thing we should pay attention to is that ZED camera returns the image in RGBA format. But YOLO expects images with RGB format, so only the first three indices of the third dimension are used. Now let's get back to the stream inference function. If a webcam is used, after we get data, a dummy depth images array is created to avoid complex conditional branches. After inference is done, in the post process function, boxes are created. In these lines, results are printed out to the terminal. Note that bounding boxes are not drawn in this function. The boxes are drawn based on the tracking results. Now let's see how we modified the results class. The post process function is defined in the predict python script. In this function, based on the predictions, we obtain distance to the center of each bounding box. Then, we create a list of results instances. The results class is defined in the results python script. In the results class, a boxes instance is created. We want to associate distance with each bounding box, so we have an added argument here. Here is an important thing. The boxes class contains information for multiple bounding boxes. So, to get information of each bounding box iteratively, we should return indexed elements. Otherwise, each bounding box will contain distances for all bounding boxes. Now, we are going to install YOLO and BoxMo. Move the YOLO v12 folder to your home directory. Run the virtual environment and execute the requirements text file. Then install YOLO v12. After installing YOLO, we have to install BoxMo. Move the BoxMo folder to your home directory. 
Install this library. In our case this error is harmless, but you may install the type guard package. Let's check the NumPy version. We have 1.26.4. But ZED Python packages require NumPy above 2. So, uninstall the current version and install version 2.0.0. Don't pay attention to this error, the boxmo will work fine. Now move to the boxmo directory. Execute the track python script. We have an error. As written here, the error happens because we have compiled OpenCV using NumPy version 1, but now we have version 2. Just reinstall OpenCV and OpenCV headless packages. Let's run our script once again. Now we have the same error but for PyTorch. So, reinstall PyTorch. Install the appropriate Torch Vision package as well. Let's run our script once again. We still have an error. As suggested, we have to install libgtk2 and package config packages. Uninstall OpenCV Python. Install the required packages. Install OpenCV Python once again. Now let's run our script. Finally, it runs properly.